Hello, little learners. Welcome back to our learning space. I hope that you're having a wonderful morning so far. My name is Miss Lara. Can you tell me your name? Oh, I'm so excited that you made it to our classroom this morning. We have so much to do. But let's start our morning off with a song with Miss Maria, our mail person. Are you ready, Miss Maria? Here we go. Good morning, good morning. It's a sunshine kind of day. Come join Miss Laura for some learning and some play. Will we sing a song? Of course we will. Make our brains strong, like super strong. So come along. Yes, come on friends for some learning and some play. All right, Miss Maria, I'm gonna put you down so I can tell our friends what we're going to do today. So can you guess what we're going to learn about these next few days? That's right, we're going to learn about Humpty Dumpty. I think he wrote us a letter. We're going to practice retelling a story using a text called After the Fall, or what happened to Humpty Dumpty after he fell off the wall. Do you remember what word we're learning about this week? Perseverance. So that's going to be how we're going to end our week as well, talking about what that means and how you can persevere when things get hard. I have a fun art project for us too at the project table. It involves smashing eggs. You know how I like to get messy. So should we get our day started? I think I hear the doorbell. It's there. Let me see. We have our letter here. Now let's see. Do you remember where we start reading? We start on the left and slide to the right. And here's our song. This is the left. This is the right. When we read, we start at the left and slide to the right. All right, let's see how it starts. It says, Dear Miss Lara, that's me. I know you read the story of the little engine that could. Do you remember reading that story? It was about a little engine that went up the hill to help another train get the goodies to the boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. It says, but what happens when you can't and you fail? Ooh, what happens when you can't do something and you fail? That is a very good question. It says, love Humpty. That's a character we're going to learn about a little bit later. I think Miss Maria left us a book all about what happens when you fail. Let's see. Ooh, it's a good one. It's called The Magical Yet. It is discovering how good you can get. It is written by Angela Dezzarelli, and its art is by Lorena Alvarez. Do you remember the author writes the words and the illustrator drew all the art in the book? So let's see what this book is going to be about. Ooh, I already see in the picture here, there's a little girl and there's a broken bicycle. I think she's not gonna do very well on the bicycle. What do you think? Right, let's read. There are days when your dreams haven't come true or you're upset by the things you can't do. If you're lost or failed or cried just a bit, you're tired of waiting, you're ready to quit. She's riding her bike and one of her wheels bent up. She's ready to call it quits on bike riding. I can tell by her expression that she's sad. Her mouth is downturned like this. Frustrated. Like that shiny new bike you couldn't ride and it didn't matter how hard you tried. You couldn't pedal and you couldn't steer and you couldn't get that bike into gear. Has that ever happened to you where you try to ride a bike and you just can't make it through? Then, when you thought you were on the right track, you popped a wheelie and fell on your back. There she goes tumbling down the hill. And now you won't ride. No way. Not ever. 
No writing for you. You'll walk forever. But don't give up now. There's a major game changer, a most amazing thought rearranger. Someone to show you how good you can get. Now introducing the magical yet. Look at it. It looks magical. Ooh, look at that. She's, she's in awe. With this yet's magic, you can begin to see where you're going beyond where you've been. There are so many things that you've learned to do when you didn't know the yet was already with you. Like when you babbled before you could talk or how you crawled before you can walk. Now I want you to think about something that you thought was impossible, like maybe uh, leaving your diapers behind or oh, reaching a very high place and now you can do it easily. That's the yet that was with you. Yet's a dreamer, a schemer, a hoper, a trier, a maker, a doer, a gotta fly higher. This yet finds a way even when you don't. And yet knows you will when you think you won't. Like that shiny new bike that you couldn't ride, hop right back on with the yet by your side. Yet doesn't mind warm-ups, fixes, or flops, do-overs, redos, stumbles, and stops. Oh, good thing. I have lots of those. Yet knows there's mistakes, some big and some small. With yet, you're sure to get over them all. Play the kazoo or play the bassoon. Jam with the yet and you'll soon be in tune. Now, I notice that all of the children here have a yet on top of them. Do you have a yet? Can you check? I think my yet is invisible. Try skateboarding tricks like the ollie heel flip. This yet can get to the championship. Tongue twisters twisted your tongue in a knot, yet says keep trying and practice a lot. That is one thing you need to get really good at something, huh? You need to practice. Be patient, yet can't do it all overnight. Some things take days, months, or years to get right. Like reading or writing, that takes a long time. But if you keep leaping, dreaming, wishing, waiting, learning, trying, missing, with the yet as your guide along the way, you'll do all the things that you can't do today. Look at, we can see the swan dancing. Now you're bolder, braver, starting to see. With yet, you can get where you want to be. And yes, you finally did it, yet knew you could. You're not just riding, you're getting quite good. Look, she's riding her bike after lots of practice. But don't stop now, you've got so much to do. The good news is, yet grows with you. So no matter how big or old you may get, you'll never outgrow, you'll never forget. You can always believe in the magic of yet. The end. So what do you think? Do you think that you have a yet right with you that helps you when you're not doing so good at something? Hey, it's okay to fail. Our letter asks, what do you do? You keep going, don't you? Now I'm gonna share a video story with you about a little egg that fell off a wall. You might know him as Humpty Dumpty, but something happened to him after he fell Let's find out by watching our video story together. It's story time. After the Fall, the story of how Humpty Dumpty got back up again by Dan Santat, retold by Miss Lara. You may have heard the story of Humpty Dumpty, how one day Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall 
And then Humpty Dumpty had a great big fall. When the king's horses showed up, they tried to put Humpty together again, but couldn't. Then along came all the king's men to try to put Humpty together again, but they couldn't help him either. So what happened to Humpty Dumpty after he fell? Well, that fall from the wall, that accident changed Humpty Dumpty's life. He was now afraid of heights. That's when you're scared to go to really high places. Every day he passed the wall and thought about how much he missed being so high up that he could never bring himself to climb the wall again. He eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. But then one day an idea flew by. It was a paper plane, and Humpty wanted to make one of his own, but it was harder than it looked. He kept trying and trying. He didn't give up until he got it just right. Yes! He loved flying his paper plane. Flying that plane made him feel happier than he had in a long time. It wasn't the same as being high in the sky with the birds, but it was close enough. Unfortunately, accidents happen, and one day his paper plane landed on top of the wall. He almost walked away, but Humpty decided it was time to climb that wall. He didn't look up. He didn't look down. He just kept climbing one step at a time until he wasn't afraid anymore. So maybe now you won't think of him as the egg who was famous for falling. Hopefully you'll remember Humpty Dumpty as the egg who got back up again. The End I hope that you enjoyed that story. Uh, I always thought of Humpty Dumpty as the egg that fell off the wall. So now I know a little bit more about his story. So speaking of stories, I think I'm going to read that one tomorrow live here in the studio. So if you have a copy, you can read along with me. Or you can also check out more stories like that at your local library or on the Sora app. So right now we're going to retell the story that we just saw after the fall. Will you help me? You know that reading comprehension is so important when you get to kindergarten. So it's good to practice. And of course I have a song for you. Remember it? It goes, when I retell a book to a teacher or a friend, I tell the beginning and the middle and the end. First, next, last are the words that help me out. When I read my favorite book, I tell what it's about. So here we go. I have some pictures to help us retell the story. Now, do you remember what happened first? There was an egg, and his name was Humpty Dumpty, and he sat on top of a wall. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. That's right. He fell down and he cracked all over the place and the king's horses and the king's men couldn't put him back together again. But you'll see tomorrow that he actually does get put back together and that's when his real story begins. So he gets put back together but when he does, does he like heights? Does he like to go to tall places? No, he says boo to that. He's not going anywhere near a wall. Just like in our magical yet, how the little girl didn't want to go near the bike. 
that's our Humpty. He's like, no walls allowed. But, and then he discovers something that sparks an idea. A paper plane flies by and he thinks to himself, well, I can't go high up because I'm scared. So a paper plane will have to do. Now, does he get it right the first time? No, he keeps going, he crumbles with lots of paper, throws it back until he gets the perfect paper plane. And when he's flying it, oh, he's in love. He feels like he's free again until an accident happened and that paper plane got stuck on top of the wall. Now you'll remember, Humpty's scared of the wall. He's not gonna go up there, but he loves his paper plane so he doesn't know what to do. Now what does he end up doing? What happens at the end of the story? Humpty decides that he is going to be brave and he starts climbing a little bit out of time. And he doesn't look up and he doesn't look down and soon he's at the top and he is not scared anymore. Now what the video story didn't tell you that you'll learn tomorrow if you tune in is that Humpty transforms into something else. I don't want to spoil the story so make sure you come back tomorrow to check it out. Right, so I always love to leave you with a little project or art activity that you can do at home that will kind of relate to the story and bring it to life. So we're going to go over to our project place right now. Let's go over what does Miss Lara have here today? Oh, we're going to be painting. And of course, when one paints, one wears white, right? No! I have to put my apron on because we're going to get messy. Let me see here. And that's a good tip. If you're going to get messy, put something on that you don't mind getting messy. For me, it's my apron because if I spill any paint on it, it'll just look like part of the decor. Now I have a fun art activity for you. I'm calling it Humpty Dumpty Art. So what you're going to do to do this activity at home is you're going to save your eggshells when you make an omelet or you make scrambled eggs. Don't tell Humpty. And you're going to kind of take the little top off like this, just like that. And then you're going to take a Sharpie and draw a little face. And then to make it a fun painting activity, you're going to fill it with paint. So I have different colors here that I'll review with you and then I'll show you how we're going to make our Humpty art. So I have white paint in here. In Spanish, it's blanco. Can you say blanco? And then let's see, I have ooh, green. In Spanish, it's verde. Very nice. And then I have red, which is rojo in Spanish. And then I have black is negro in Spanish. And blue, which is azul. And what other colors do I have? I have two different shades of this color. It's orange, which is a very long word in Spanish. Anaranjado. And then I have our pink one, which is rosa. Now I drew Humpty here. He's full of paint. What do you predict that I'm going to do? I have some blank paper, eggshells, and paint, and we're reading a story about Humpty falling off a wall. Yep, we're smashing Humpty. Cover your ears. You didn't hear me say that. We are. So normally you'd want to get up and drop it from a high place. I'm going to do it from here, and it might not smash, but it'll splatter. Are you ready to see what's going to happen? All right, here we go. I'm excited to have my apron on. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, he fell down and over. Looks like I have some cleaning to do. Let's try another one. I'll do it from a little lower. <laughs> Make sure you have paper where you are. Oh, there he goes. He splattered and cracked. Let's try the green. Oh, goodness. Let's do him over here. I like some green here. There he goes. I'll try him again. Oh, he's cracking there. Shall we try some red? Ooh, here we go. Oh, this one didn't crack. <laughs> Splat. Oh no, that looked a little bit <laughs> like yolk. Look at this one. Oh, 
<laughs> His yolk splattered everywhere. Here's the black. Now you can imagine what this looks like if you do it from a high, higher place here. And we have the blue. All these broken Humpties all over my hand. And last shade of orange. Let's see. I'll try that one again. Ooh, the orange is very sturdy. It doesn't want to crack. Okay, so once you've had your fun dropping it from very high places, you can kind of smash them down. You can do that with your hands. Now this is super fun because you get to feel the texture of the egg kind of breaking in your hands. Now I forgot to mention, of course, when you're breaking your egg and you've used it for your omelet and you're using it for this activity, make sure that you wash it with soap and water because that's what I did so we can use it and it's nice and clean. All right, ready? Should I just go for it? Ooh, look at that, Humpty. <laughs> did you hear that crunch? It leaves some very unusual abstract art behind. Now, abstract art is art that really doesn't have a form. You're just doing it for the process of it and you're seeing what it becomes. Okay, here goes another one, the black. Help me smash it, one, two. Oof, I can tell you that the texture feels kind of sharp and crunchy. Not too sharp, it's safe. All right, let's do some more crunching. Which one should I do next? The blue. Blue Humpty, you're not safe. I'm going to smash you. <laughs> I wanna show you what it looks like afterwards. It's actually really cool art. And the white, I think I'll add some white here. We're smashing Humpty up. There we go. And let's do some orange right here in the middle. Oh, and as you smash, you're gonna see that the colors kind of mix together. And then let's do this last orange. This one, anaranjado in Spanish, is a little lighter. So here we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, and last one's the red. Are you ready? All right. Here is what our Humpty, look at, ooh, sad song, poor Humpty. This is what's left of him. But he has some wonderful art that he left behind and some messy hands. That happens, huh? I'm getting quite the reputation for being messy here. This is what my art is looking like. What do you think? I think it can sell in the museum for lots of money. That's what I think. <laughs> now, if you try this activity at home, and I hope that you do, please send me a picture, a little note here at the studio. I'd love to see your art and see what you come up with. Humpty is a great artist when he's smashed, isn't he? Looks like we have just enough time for me to tell you what we're going to do tomorrow and then say goodbye with some very messy painty hands. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to read our story after the fall. I'm going to read what Humpty becomes after he climbs the wall and conquers his fear. I'm going to give you a clue. It comes from an egg and it has a feather and it allows him to fly far away. What do you think it's going to be? Hmm. And then, if you stay tuned for Friday, we have some more fun. I'm going to introduce you to a new character named Gerald. He's a giraffe, and he can't dance. Or can he? I think he needs to learn yet, doesn't he? Just like we did today. So I hope that I see you tomorrow, boys and girls. I'm going to start singing our ABC song, maybe without the cards, because I don't want to get paint on them. If I don't make it through, you just continue in your head. You ready? A, B, C, later, D, E, F, G, I'm gonna miss ya, H, I, have to go now, J, K, bye-bye now, L, M, N, O, I had a good time, P, Q, are you gonna miss me, S, T? You are my best friend, V, W, X, Y, Z. 
see you tomorrow, boys and girls. And remember, you are my very best friend. I hope that you do come back so we can read more stories together. Until then, Miss Lara sends you a big smooch with paint Mwah! and a big squeeze mm -hmm. and reminds you to read, to play, use your five senses like we did today and your imagination every single day. We'll see you tomorrow, boys and girls. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.